Hi all. There are a lot of controversies happening on the limited contract, unlimited contract. Some people don't know application of the contracts, the UAE labor laws, and people are getting scared that they are getting labor ban. How to remove these things? So today with us, Mr. Tarek Ahmed, his government relations officer. So he'll be with us for getting the details of inquiries. So I welcome Mr. Tarek on board of the right Hi, thank you very much. Hi, Mr. Ahmed. How are you? All good. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So related to labor ban. Uh, people they need to understand if they have a limited contract first okay. of all they need to know what is their uh, job title okay because there is a different procedure for each job title okay job title means a lower job title which does not require any education degree and job titles which require an education degree okay if the, uh, the employee has a higher job title in this case if higher job title means like manager or something it's not supposed to be as a manager it can be any job title that requires an education degree it can be receptionist it can be supervisor it's a bachelor's degree yeah okay a high school degree high school degree yes. okay um, if they uh, the company has put an, a labor ban on them hmm. they supposed to be any reason a specific reason for that okay what will be the normal reasons for putting a labor ban uh, it can be any reason. One of them is the company wants to do it because they were not satisfied that uh, the employee resigned okay. and they wanted to keep him. However, uh, there was a miscommunication. Okay. It can be the employee not behavior, which was a reason to com of a complaint. And due that complaint, they have gotten this. But whether uh, the employee will be knowing that he already put on a ban? Well, obviously, yes, because when the cancellation document, uh, documents will be provided to the employee okay. from Ministry of Human Resources yeah. and Demonetization, it will be stating that they have a labor ban. So it will be informed to the employee also? Yes, it will so be informed. many employees are complaining. They don't know whether the employee has already put a ban on them or uh, well in this case they also can visit any Tashil uh, office Tashil, Tashil. Tashil, yes, okay. which is uh, representing the Ministry of Human Resources there itself they can get to know if they have a labor ban or no okay. what they need to have is just their passport copy okay and when they will go to the counter they will give their passport details and based on that uh, is there any charges for uh, knowing these details no this uh, discharges is being provided by the uh, Tashil officers okay. uh, for free Okay, the employer has put a ban on the employee. Yeah. Can the employee know the reason for that? Uh, obviously, they can know it once they will be communicating with Ministry of Human Resources. Okay. Uh, the main uh, the main source of communication is calling 8060. 8060. Yes. Okay, okay. That's the main source where they can get the information. Okay. What was the reason that they got a labor ban? Okay. And if they want to remove it, also it's the same way. They need to call 8060 okay. and inform them that what is the situation okay. and how they can get the support. Okay. So obviously they, uh, they will be providing them a different way. Okay. First way, they will tell them to visit any Tashil office or any the Tashil office. Yes, okay. Okay. or Ministry of Human Resources office. Can you tell me, tell me some locations of Ministry of Human Resources office? The, um, in Dubai, it's Dubai. in Al-Qisay area. al area. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. That's the uh, that's the Ministry office, and ah. Tashil is there everywhere. Everywhere they can, they, go they can check you on Google. Check. Okay. The, just they need to make sure that in that Tashil office they have the IT support. The, uh, department. It's basically okay. a device provided by Ministry of Human okay. Resources where you go, you can, you pick up the phone okay. and some of the operators will pick up the phone call and they will have a video chat with them. Okay. They will explain the situation. The, okay. All the information will be provided to them okay. and based on that they will tell you we will come back to you. Okay. Uh, usually it takes five working days. So Mr. Tarek, uh, whether the employee ban happens on limited contract or unlimited contract? Usually it happens with the limited contract, limited contract. Okay. however there is a possibility also to happen for the employees who has an unlimited contract okay. uh, when they have the point on which is called 127. 127. Yes. Okay. When they are at this point into the contract, it's okay. being stating that the employee cannot work with uh, any different company that having uh, it has the same what they call it activity, okay. same as their company. Okay. And it's being mentioned on which Emirates and for what's the duration for. Okay. But normally, what happens? Now people sign on the last page of the contract mm -hmm. and they don't get the access for the contract. So how will they know there's a specific uh, clause mentioned on the contract? Well. That's the uh, that's a good question actually. So yeah. what they need to do is on the last page or basically in all the contract, there is on the left side there is always a big number which is starting with either ST or MB. Mm. Okay. With, well, they need to have a copy of that number. Obviously on the last page it's being mentioned. Okay. When they go to any Tashil center, Tashil center they yes, have to go. Yeah. They can request to have the full um, uh, offer copy or the uh, full employment contract. contract. Do, do they okay. have to pay for that contract? Usually no. No. Uh, but it depends. The sales center, some of the they can the go channel. and get the contract. Yes. Without the company's information, they can get the contract. Yes, exactly. Because that ST or MB, it okay. comes out with a stating what is the, um, okay. 
the full contract details. Okay. So this is an important information for you. If you are not having an employment contract with you, just go to any Tashil center, give your details, they will give you the employment contract. From that contract, you will be able to understand your contract is a limited contract or unlimited contract or any specific clause which has been mentioned by the employer which makes you put a ban on you. Okay? That's clear. Okay. Now the question to you, again, how to remove the labor ban? So the labor ban to be removed, what they need to do is they need to call on landline which has been provided by Ministry of Human Resources. Okay. What is the number that? 804 Okay. Double nine, double nine. Zero four double six five double nine double nine. This is the landline number. I think one more number is eight hundred six zero. Eight hundred six zero. Eight hundred six zero. So yeah. if anybody will not be able to catch this uh, landline number, they can call eight hundred six zero. Okay. And when the, uh, the operator obviously will be uh, giving them the same number. Okay. When they contact to the to that number, they need to inform them what is the problem that they are facing. Okay. Obviously, the person, uh, the per concerned person who will be answering their phone, he will give them a specific question. They need to have the answer of that question. Mm -hmm. and based on that the next step will be taken it's mm -hmm. either will be arranged a meeting with them or okay. a phone call stating okay. about the entire information okay. and after that they will confirm to them what will be the next step okay it's a um, it's a little bit a long process because yeah in UAE uh, what do you call it the process takes some time sometime okay. yes th that's understandable okay. however however that's the only process they can go through to remove the labor ban Okay. And people need to know that it's not always uh, possible to remove the labor ban. Okay. And they need to be, uh, how to say it, confident, confident on themselves. Okay. Because it doesn't mean if say, they say no, it's a no. Okay. There understood. is obviously a way out. Another question to you. Mm -hmm. like, is there any automatic ban happens uh, when an employee terminates the contract or uh, uh, it is been given by the employer is putting the ban on employee? Uh, it happens only when the contract type is un, uh, limited. Limited contract. Yes, okay. limited contract. And it happens usually for the employees who has a lower job title. Lower job title. Yes. Okay. Like a class, labor, uh, any job title that does not require any education degree. Most of them, they are the one who is facing this problem. They are facing the problem. Yeah. Because higher profiles, I don't think there is a labor yes. ban issue is happening. Labor ban, when happens, obviously people need to understand that they cannot be joining any company that they, it is registered under the Ministry of Human Resources and Democratization. But they can go for free zones. They can go for free zones. They can apply for a visit, uh, visit visa inside the country. Visit visa also yes. they can apply, not an it's, issue. It's, okay. uh, the validity can be either one month or three months and it's obviously extendable. Okay. okay. The labor ban usually happens for one year. One year is the period for labor ban, yeah. yeah. So uh, the, that's how the process works. Okay. So as I said earlier, there isn't always a plan B for any situation that when okay. you get stuck. So I think uh, Mr. Tariq is always with writers for a plan B. If you have any uh, doubts or clarifications for labor related issues, labor ban, please don't hesitate to contact us. We are here to support you. Sure. And I thank you from board. Thank you too, Mr. For, uh, yeah. It's a pleasure for me. It's a pleasure for us also. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.